It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Good morning, neighbors. How are you doing? Not lamb chops yet, I see. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new dawn, a brand new day where I am currently packing up and we are leaving the country. Yep, it's happening. I booked the flight, we're leaving. Seven pairs of boxer shorts, seven pairs of socks, swim shorts, flippy floppies, jacket, Time to stock up on t-shirts. And for today, we're wearing the Insignia t-shirt. You know how it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're rapping, we're rocking, we're rolling. Life's too short, make the most of it. And uh, I've never lived more by that saying than I have done probably for the past, like, month. We have been non-stop, go, 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 go. And we're basically continuing that. So let's get this day started. What the heck, that's a really fast person running past my house. What the hell? If there's one thing I can't do today, it's miss this flight. If I miss this flight, I mess up an entire 24 hours of traveling in a plane, and that just could not happen today. Also, um, yeah, I'm wearing the pants. Good morning, Stephen. How are you doing, Stranger? I've not you seen you in a minute, have I? You've successfully drowned one of them and let one of them die upside down over there. Good on you. Ah, we be fine. The taxi's here, all these boxes are here, Juan's here, high five. Are you getting ready to, what are you getting ready? Can we stand in front of the no, garage oh, door? What the heck? And what the heck? The house. What's this for? Uh, limited edition gold snapback. When they out? Uh, I'm not sure, 15th, 11th. When 15th. Alice comes back to holiday. <laughs> and you better know, I am repping the brand new hoodie, which is unnamed right now. And I don't know if we're going to keep these tassels white, but this is the brand new Syndicate original hoodie. Look at the detail, fully custom made. But vlog has just finished rendered. Uh, go to the brain. Rendered videos, open this up, save, uploading, 30 seconds remaining, sweet. My, my mum just went, oh, this is nice, this is that. She didn't even know we had it, like, happening. Either way, but how long are you here for? How many days? Till we pack, till we pack thousand thousand limited edition. You have to fold every single one of these boxes to be able to fit a hat put in. A card in a hat in. And, put, and put the limited edition, like, card in. Yeah. Wow, okay, got to be good luck. <sighs> okay, I seriously have to go. Seriously, I have to go. I'll tell you what, I love this hoodie. I love this hoodie. It's not even been 12 hours. Uh, my first selection, two o'clock, Dubai, gate 49 to 59. Okay, we ain't traveling economy. We ain't traveling business. Yep, this is a thing. I've never flown with the Emirates properly before, so for the first time I'm doing it, we're doing it first class. Through security, bag didn't get checked. Bumped into Mitchell, who's going to Grand Canary, who watches my vlog, so shout out to that guy. And uh, now I think I've got like an hour and a half to kill. The one thing I didn't have with me in Greece was my GoPro. And I'm taking one of these. Boom. I've never been to the uh, Emirates Lounge. Don't know what to expect. I'm pretty sure this is mine. All right, let's do this. I actually think I prefer the, uh, the British Airways Lounge. This feels old and Musky. The lounge does feel very old school, like an old resort or something like that. And there's no Wi Fi. Hmm. As for a selection of drinks, mm, we're looking kind of okay. Coffee machine, biscuits. And then over here, this is the main, like, eating area. We've got little selections of snacks and leek and cheese soup. Random food over here, wow. Champagne, and then a nice cheese selection. Definitely feel out of place here. However, I've managed to get my chest mount and just in case, a spare battery for like seven quid. That was like 20, that was like seven, not bad. Fancy. Mm -mm. Well, that was an experience. I was expecting a lot more. Hey, this is bizarre for the first time. Dubai, two o'clock, gate 12. This way. We're now boarding, and oh my god, look how busy this place is. Absolutely ramalamed. Okay, so I was actually expecting really big things from the lounge just because it's like it's Emirates. I've always known Emirates is to be like the classiest, fanciest one, so I was like, ooh, well excited. I was disappointed, so let's uh, see what the plane's like. I actually think I'm flying on the big double decker, so um, yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I'm flying on the big double decker. Holy crap. Am I excited for this? I've never flown on the Emirates double decker before, which I believe is the biggest plane in the world. I've never done it. And as soon as I knew I was doing this trip, I was like, I have to try it. I just have to. <laughs> oh, my. oh my god. That is ridiculous. Welcome to my home for the next seven hours. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, this is amazing. Again, for clarification, this is not something I do regularly. I will happily sit in economy and get the cheapest flight anywhere just to get me there. The quickest and the cheapest. I have never in my life flown first class properly, like properly, myself with Emirates, like, or even at all. So, <laughs> I feel so out of place. So welcome on board. I have a beautifully huge screen. Thank you, yeah, this is incredible. I've never flown, I've flown with Emirates before, but not first class, so. Do a lot of people use the shower? Like, Sometimes is it like a queue? Sometimes flying just yeah. to, just to say that they have. I'm definitely gonna do and it. And then, yeah, no, you have to, and if you're not, we're gonna put you in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well excited. Yeah, I feel so out of place right now. So, okay, let, let me use this. So, I wish I would've just filmed everything there. So, first of all, cheers. Uh, glass of champagne the lady said to me oh we've only got this one open right now but when we get in flight we'll uh, be serving out the Dom Perignon <laughs> pretty sure I said yesterday's like I wasn't gonna be drinking but okay uh, you get a lovely little um, like pad and pen to take with you so like, like mine to keep which I'm actually gonna take I love I love writing things down so you get that in this little drawer let me show you you get this little drawer hide that away and then so you know like when I usually get on the flight and they give you like a little bag and it's got like a, you know, the mask for your eyes, socks in it and stuff like that, well. <laughs> so, get a nice little eye mask, which is great. Then get, rather than like the socks, <laughs> slippers, which are probably better than mine at home. And then you still get one of those bags, which is like, you know, a leather compartment with like toothbrush, toothpaste in it. Oh my goodness me. Oh. You get all like your little creams and your toothbrushes and your toothpaste and stuff like that. The table top. Oh, yes. Oh my God. Whoa. What? Look at the size of that thing. Uh, th this is, it's gigantic. So welcome to the unboxing of what you get inside the little bag of, you get, I think, toothbrush. Oh. Full size toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh, yes, please. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm like just delving straight into it. <laughs> like, usually it's like you open a little bag and there's like three things in it, and this one is like an entire, like, mass Your selection. Luggage, uh, yeah, <laughs> quite little. Yeah, I didn't need to bring anything, did I? <laughs> when you fly with British Airways, you get um, like a toothbrush and toothpaste, and they're usually about that big compared to this. What? You then also get a, sh a, sh a shaver, what? a pack of tissues. Foldable comb, a double sided comb. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the little things that I completely forgot about. <laughs> Lynx deodorant <laughs> and Gillette shaving cream. Yo, this is gonna be my new travel bag. This is amazing. I've got to say, this is the biggest table I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Arabic coffee. Yes. Okay. Try. Yeah, thank you very much. Try. Lovely. Oh. <coughs> There's still the other section that I didn't open. You get, uh, I don't know what this is. It says EAU Parfum. I don't know if it's perfume, but it feels squidgy. Which I, I don't understand what that is. You've then got, I, I don't know how to say this brand name, the Velar Gear or whatever it is. Uh, this is, I think more perfume. Yep, little glass of perfume, very nice. Lip balm. Body lotion and aftershave balm. What an amazing little kit. So that concludes one portion of what I was given. But that's not all. <laughs> that's not all. That's not all you get. <laughs> you get pajamas. I don't know if this is a cat. I think they give you a carry bag to be able to take all this with you. But you get pajamas. Pajamas medium. You better, you better know I'm putting these on. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Yo, that's actually. Oh, it's 
like heaven. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's a nice quality. Check it out. Drift off to sleep with hydroactive sleepwear. Relax in relax in the world's first moisturizing sleepwear range. The pajamas are designed to prevent skin dehydration during flight as you move. The fabric gently releases naturally moisturizing sea kelp to help skin stay soft. <laughs> what? I'm gonna be wearing kelp pajamas. <laughs> Ooh, so my style. See you later. Oh, and by the way, if I want a drink throughout the flight. <laughs> really? Like, are you even serious? Oh my goodness me, There's a, there is a staircase, look. It's, it's there. What? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, and if you thought I was done unboxing everything, no. You actually get to take that with you. I don't think I'll ever use it, but I'll take it. Wicked. You put your suitcase here and then just <laughs> lock it in. Oh, and the headphones that you get, you can obviously use your own, but these apparently are the brand new ones. So let's take a look at what they are. Bowers and Wilkins, eh? I don't think I've actually heard of that before. Mm. Ooh, very nice. All right, we're about to take off, so uh, I'll get a drink by drink, get comfy, get off in the air. And I have to say, I'm, I'm like shakingly hungry. I had, I had a bowl of cereal this morning, that's about it, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what the food's like. If you're not subscribed around here, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn on them notifications. Because let's be honest, who knows where I'm going to be every other day, so we're literally just winging it. It's absolutely ridiculously huge. So this right now is a seven hour flight and we're flying to Dubai. Then we've got a change uh, for a layover for like an hour and get on the next flight, which is going to be nine hours. So my plan, plan is to stay awake on this flight and just enjoy first class because people who pay an upgrade to like first class and I know there's a bed and the whole point is to sleep and stuff like that but when I ever upgrade to anything I always stay awake because I feel like it's an experience that you need to enjoy and take in like watch the movies drink the drinks you know explore around the plane and stuff like that rather than like what's the point in paying to go into first class just to sleep and not, not enjoy any of it so just my personal opinion on it what there's cameras there's cameras with a live feed how do I how do I get to it? Oh, that's that's really zoomed in. Oh, that one's better. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, air show one? Okay, that's the map. And then air show two is... What? Not that. I might as well see where I'm going. It's it's like it's like looking straight, straight forward through the plane. The lineup has begun. The engines are roaring. Let's go. Look at the size of them. Mate, I thought that, I thought that was someone behind me. There's a bloody mirror. <laughs> Dude, this, this I can I can just feel how heavy this plane is. I know it sounds weird, but I can just feel how heavy it is and how much power these bad boys are creating it must just be insane. Okay, we just we just took off so efforts. He didn't even go far, he went about three feet and then went let the countdown commence. Six hours, 59 minutes to go. Oh come on, I found another set of buttons. So if I press this one, <laughs> the blind has come down. Okay, it still lets a little bit of light through. So what about this one? All black out? Oh, oh, you can choose which one you want to black out. Oh, that's cool. The dream flight. Wicked. Oh, I'm so happy right now. The one benefit of flying like business, let alone first class, uh, the one benefit of it is like for a vlogger, um, a lot of people say to me like, oh, Tom, how do you handle like vlogging around other people? Like, don't they get freaked out? Or like don't you get weirded out like knowing people are like staring at you because like when I'm filming like this like if I should look like look what I look like in the mirror so I'm like this talking to myself like oh, da, 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 da. and you walk past people and they always are like why is he talking to himself and most of the time I just jokingly go like I'm facetiming my mum like something like that but you've just got to like ignore them but in circumstances where you're on a plane next to someone it, it is really difficult because you don't want them you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable or be a twat like being loud next to them or something like that so when you can be in business or like first or something like that, well, I, I don't know about first, when you have your own space to be able to vlog, it just feels so much more better because it's just natural, you can film whatever you want to film, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about and just truly enjoy the experience rather than worrying about disturbing someone else's experience. But no, you guys see how I am on a plane. I, I, I never be able to talk as loud as this. Usually I'm like, so um, uh, the, the flight,
bike is nice today and the food is good, yay! And that's about it. Whereas this, this is worth the upgrade just to be able to vlog properly. And the seatbelt sign is off. We're up in cruising altitude. Oh, and if you're wondering, it, it, it is a touchscreen TV. But if you want the remote control, just open this up, click this button, and out it pops. It's like a little mouse cursor, look. You got this little thumb thing. Whee! Just got this little package delivered of snacks. Let's take a look over good. Stem ginger, okay. We have crisps. Uh, salted caramel chocolate bar. The hell? Fizz. Rehydration vitamins, chocolate licorice, fruit bar, and dry powder. Tom Perry on at 35,000 feet. Sure. Okay, and for what are we eating on this plane? Let's check out the menu. So, apparently, a la carte dining. Experience fine dining wherever the mood takes you. Create your own menu from our range of gourmet dishes. Okay. Massive amount of cocktails. Apparently, apparently there's like a fully fledged bar that's like really nice downstairs. You know. Downstairs on a two-story plane. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, they got some Johnny Walker. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. These short ribs, chicken, salmon, smoked duck malfatti. I actually don't know what that is, but uh, I'll probably pass. We've got some nice side dishes, dessert, chocolate fondant, cake, seasoned fruit, a nice cheese board selection, and then, um, yeah, I can't read any of that. Roast chicken with wild mushroom sauce, sage and shallot stuffing. Vegetables and heritage potatoes. Sounds pretty good. That just sounds very good. I don't know why. Like this is a personal thing, but I think I prefer chicken over steak. Nando's has literally changed me. For the past five minutes, I've been trying to work out how to not put it in bed mode, but to lift my legs up. And it turns out we've got to use this. Like obviously that screen wasn't on, but um, I want to lift my legs up. So press this. Oh, here we go. Progress, boys. Progress. Oh, it extends. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yes. Oh, that's well better. Okay, let's close these blinds. See ya. There we go. Fixed it. I haven't seen the shower spot, huh? Yeah, I've not seen the shower just yet. No. Wow. They brought me my canopy, so... Um... Oh, yes. This is so cool. <laughs> See you later, world. Sayonara. Okay, now let's turn on the lights. Oh, sweet, it's just a Turn on the light, and then turn on the lights. Awesome. Oh, I could do it from here. Lights. Okay, table lamp. Ta-da. All right, so for uh, a little starter, we've got a canapé, I've got a little plate of olives. I have a glass of Dom Perignon champagne. Um, oh, what? It's like, it's like, it's like a um, fried salmon. That's really good, one sec, let me just put my napkin on. Look how smart that is. I think Iberico pork. Mm. That's good. I've thrown in an order for some food. Uh, I'm gonna go for the roast chicken, and I'm gonna have, um, I don't even see this page, I'm gonna have the caviar with a fennel soup. Yep, I found another secret. There's a massager in the chair. Oh, yes. Can I pick, whoa. What intensity? Oh yes! Oh, this is amazing. Oh, wait, I can do all. Oh, oh my god, the whole chair. Oh, the whole chair's vibrating. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I've got it set up massage mode to go from, 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 from all the way down my body. Oh, that's all nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, all right, so it's time for dinner. Enjoy. That looks awesome. Oh. Stage two. This is pretty incredible, isn't it? Like you just yeah, you can't say it's not. It's absolutely amazing. Cheers. Enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, will do. Thank you. <laughs> like a bloody thirty-inch screen, eating caviar at thirty-five thousand feet. <laughs> I like genuinely, seriously. I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now. Thank you. I feel like I can't stop saying thank you just because it's like <laughs> it's such an incredible experience that I just don't know how to handle it. <laughs> thank you. Enjoy. I, I, I just. I I can't wrap my head around that. <laughs> you can fly. The <laughs> fact that you can fly to this kind of standard is insane. Like, God, imagine being able to travel like this, like, 
all the time. Like this was this was like your economy. Like I, I know like no billionaires and stuff like that do this like every day. Well, no, they have private jets. But like, oh my gosh, what an experience! From being an hour and a half into this flight, I feel like this is something you have to do before you die. Okay, caviar time. I'm just putting my chair into a uh, dinner mode. It, whoa. I'm sat like perfectly upright with like the view of the clouds. And I've got a little pancake. I'm gonna put a bit of a, I wanna say cream cheese onto my pancake base. Then maybe a little bit of a, a bit of cheese. And then a little bit of caviar. If you know what caviar is, it's fish eggs. And the way to describe the taste, Sorry. And the way to describe the taste is uh, just salty. Oh. It is good though. Wow. I just spent about 15, 20 minutes taking a load of photos to try and get the thumbnail for this video to be awesome. So I hope you liked it. Flying high, I've got my uh, fennel soup. I'm just gonna admit right now, I have no idea what this is gonna taste like, but a bit of fennel soup. Wow, wow, that's flavorful. I only asked for it because it was just an option. I wouldn't usually order soup, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take my uh, slippers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, I'm just using the bathroom. There's the shower. <laughs> Look at this, what is this? I select shampoos, conditioners, body washes. They set it up every time fresh for an individual person to come in. So if I come in, I can use all of that. And say someone else wants to come in and shower, they'll put a whole new tray out. And I'm like, that's all yours. Like, what? Hair dryer. Like, amenities. <laughs> Are you serious? There's a shower on a plane. Wait, is this the toilet? What do you? Whoa! It's huge. Look at the size of this boy. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just you can't make it up, can you? Like, are you kidding me? There, there's so much room for it. Like, look. There's so much room for activities in here. This is this. There's a TV. You can actually sit pooping and watch TV at the same time. Also, side note. I think I broke the sink. Oh no, I didn't. I have to. I simply have to. I have to do it. <laughs> what? My goodness me. That is the coolest thing ever. What? Why did people think of... Do you know what we need on a plane? We need a shower. Yes. The experience so far is 10 out of 10. Unparalleled by any other airline. It's absolutely outstanding and top class. I wondered why I've seen like 90 million different members of staff uh, and it might sound odd but there's only two of us in this entire section of 14 chairs there's only two of us what boom 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 ta-da dinner is served we have the chicken with uh, the removal of vegetables but we got chicken and potatoes and carrots nice the movie Game Night gets a 8 out of 10. It's delicious and gets itself mm, awesome, an 8 out of 10. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to Early Man. This is the most random film I've ever seen, but look at the ceiling. There's stars. That's amazing. I feel so British right now. Tea bag, hot water, make my own tea. <laughs> Magical, like one sec, let me close the blind. Look at the lights. Oh, I wish they'd turn off all the lights in the cabin to be able to see them properly, but it's magical. I'm not going to sleep, but might as well turn it into a bed, right? Oh, it's underfloor heating. <laughs> it's like every second you spend on this plane, you discover something new. But um, I've been wearing the tightest jeans in the world for the past probably four and a half hours, so 
Let's put on the pajamas. I don't intend on sleeping for uh, any proportion of this flight because I land in uh, Dubai at midnight. I've got a one hour layover till one o'clock in the morning and then um, I'm gonna be on a nine hour flight and that's the flight I hope, I hope to sleep on. So, whoa, whoa, yo, these, oh, they so much better. So much better. Oh my gosh, yo, I tell you something. That's comfy. I know it's pajamas, but I feel just like a a hipster. <laughs> like a hipster, like a hippie. And by the way, you know what? I, I said like under floor heating. It's seriously hot. Like wow, that is probably the hottest under floor heating I've ever felt. And just like that, I have a bed. <sighs> oh, that's comfy. Oh, oh wow. It smells like, like, I'm gonna say heather, lavender, not heather. <laughs> it, it smells, ri whoa, it smells like lavender. Wow, the little touches, man. <laughs> I'm a genius. I've got it made into a bed and I've got it on massage mode. Mm-hmm. This is a win. Piece of advice, never watch that film. It's absolutely terrible. One out of 10. So I've only got like two hours left. Um, I'm gonna watch one more movie, but they said an hour before we land, uh, I'm gonna have a shower. So, pretty excited. I know it's just a shower, but it's a shower at a point. And I could definitely say I've never taken a shower. It's only like half past six in the UK, but I'm just so, so exhausted. I can't wait to sleep. So on this next nine hour flight, I'm really hoping I just pass out. Well, I was gonna watch a movie, but I think the thing's broke. Oops. And inside my little mirror of treats, I've got like a lot of sleeping things. One of them's pillow mist, which the instruction says, gently mist into a pillow to release a calming fragrance. Oh, shit. Sleep oil? Like it says, gently apply to wrists and temples. My headset, oh. my headset just cut in and out. That was scary. Gently apply to wrists and temples to enjoy a soothing fragrance. Okay. Wrists. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hum. I. I broke it. All I did was click a button. And temples? That's your temple, right? Mmm. So sleepy. My system is restarting and um, found a cupboard. <laughs> a nice little cupboard hole to put things in. Bye bye. Oh my goodness me. This is amazing. Ain't no complaining with this. Cheers. I happened to just make it in time to get a drink in, so thank you very much. There's so many business class flights, it's unreal. Look at it, loads. And welcome to first class. I can't believe there was only two people in this entire section. Grab my clothes. Okie dokie. Time for a shower. <laughs> All right, so you get five minutes of hot water um, and you can just rock and roll. In about 10 minutes, the sun will set close to by. The weather will be set quick. Nice. That heated floor is so nice. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Take some shampoo, some body wash, and do I need anything else? A bar of soap. <laughs> uh, I'm about to shower at 35,000 feet. Sweet. Oh, okay. So, oh, He's talking to me whilst I'm naked. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, oh, it's, well, it's well hot. <laughs> This is amazing! <laughs> I'm singing in the air. Yes, yeah, singing in the air. What a wonder. I don't, I don't know the words to this, but hey man, I'm singing in the air. <laughs> WTF, mate? This, uh, this is a random. This is a random thing. Like, we went from humans making fire and wheels transporting things to putting showers on planes at 35,000 feet. <laughs> Why? 
I hope you can't see me naked in a reflection, but time's running out, boys. Time is running out. And just like that, I ran out of water. Amazing. I can, I can finally tick that off my bucket list. <laughs> it's something so simple in concept, but... Man, man, I can't believe I can tick that off my bucket list. Showered at 35,000 feet. Awesome. Yep, this is great. This is so random, but this is... This is great. So the next flight I'm going to be getting on is indeed going to be the flight that I intend on sleeping on. So, it's time to brush my teeth. Thank you. Like you do. Done and dusted. I like how there's, there's not just one shower, there's two. And then you get surprised by two when you come out. Thank you. If I had to give this flight a rating out of 10, it is hands down 10 out of 10. Like, a thousand percent. The flight has been incredible. The staff have been amazing. The food was like, I don't know, I gave the food an eight, but regardless, everything, start all into play. The shower, the seat, the screen. This is a thing that I would definitely say you should add to your bucket list because it is, it's worth every single penny. Oh, hello, Dubai. I have to fill my goodie bag. Aha, I almost forgot this. <laughs> definitely taking that. And just like that, <coughs> I made it. Incredible experience. I would love to say I'd do it again, but I don't think I'd ever need to. I, I, I'd love to do it every time, but I've done it now. Amazing. I've now got two hours to wait until my next flight to the next destination. So I'm sure you guys know where I'm going, but I'm going to keep you on the edge of your seat. You're going to have to find out tomorrow where we're going to wake up. So if you've enjoyed this flight, guys, because it's now midnight, I'm going to have to end this day and start my next one. So I hope you enjoyed the seven hours of flying to uh, Dubai. Make sure you leave a like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the next daily vlog, where we will definitely be in another country and we will be off on a new adventure. So until then, honestly, like truly, thank you. Make sure you follow me on Syndicate. On what? Nope. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Syndicate, on Twitter, at Pro Syndicate. Um, and you guys can see more behind the scenes there. So much love and it's adios. I truly think this might be the best plane vlog I've ever done. I really don't know how to top this. I really don't. Like a private jet maybe? But other than that, I don't think this can be topped.